everything happen and throw the rest away. Oh, uh. you ready? Oh, I got a plan. Need to put it into motion. Gonna cut to the chase. It could be bigger than the ocean. And if we were smart, and we are who we say we are, then it shouldn't be hard. No, it shouldn't be My name is Brett Manier, co-owner and general manager of Performance Boat Center. My parents went to Kansas City to buy a car at one point in time and came back with a lake house at Lake of the Ozarks. First time I came down here and saw power boats going down the main channel and all the houses and all the boats and cruisers and whatnot, I was absolutely hooked. When I moved to the lake, I came to work for another power boat dealership sales outlet and I worked there for about a year and it wasn't for me. A friend of mine, Mark Waddington, had told me that uh, after he took this company public, he wanted to retire and maybe be in the boat business. I think it was two and a half years later, I called him and uh, within that evening that I called, we were sitting down for dinner and making plans to build what is now the world's largest power boat dealership. In 1988, right after college, uh, we rented a houseboat with some other college friends that, that had just graduated and we spent a week down in Lake of the Ozarks. I walked away from that experience going, someday I'm going to live here. I started coming here um, on a regular basis uh, in two, early 2000s and then in 2009 bought a house here. I was doing a uh, both parasail um, events or whatever and I was up in a parasail and the boat that was pulling us started on fire. I'm looking down and I see smoke coming from the boat and I'm like going, well what's going on here? And, and all of a sudden the parasail just, just dropped in the water and I dropped in the water. Everybody out of the, in the boat jumped out of the water and the boat was on fire. A boat pulls by and um, picks us up and it happened to be a performance boat. And that was the first time I ever rode in a performance boat was from that experience. From then on, I always had interest in performance boats. My first real performance boat, which was a uh, 47 Fountain, um, I bought that boat in 2009 and I loved it. Just, it, was, it, was, it was a fun boat to be out boating in and um, I learned a lot about performance boating from that experience when working with Brett and so forth. Um, at the time I was a customer of performance and, and he fixed my boat for me. So when I was going through that process of learning, learning the performance boating, I also started learning what was happening. You remember back in those days when the financial crisis happened and all the performance boating manufacturers really had a hard time. Everything and more has been completely wiped out. It was the worst day on Wall Street since the... What we, what we looked at and we saw happening in the industry was that the industry was really being kind of torn down and had a lot of misrepresentation and stuff going on. And so we felt like what we need to do is bring trust back to the industry. And so our, our goal number one was to, to create trust with our customers and to support our customers from that perspective. So when Brett and I started working on it, we really said, hey, what do we need to have to make this successful? We said we need something on the water. The place we're at now is a 1940s, 1950s uh, rundown marina. So we had to put our boat dealerships hats away and, and become general contractors and excavators and all that kind of thing, put a plan together. And then when we did that, I started saying, well, how do I get more people to come to this location? Because it's on the water and it's back in the back of a cove. So the next idea was, well, let's build a restaurant. And so all of a sudden I'm building a pool and building a big restaurant, drawing hundreds, hundreds of uh, people every hour basically during the summer. I mean, thousands of people come in here uh, during the day and we sell lots of boats just by having boats sitting on the docks. So that, that was successful. It brought people to the cove and, and got people knowing who we were and so forth at the lake. I'm very much more into the day-to-day -day operations. I like to focus on sales, buying the boats, selling the boats, meeting the customers, doing demos, that kind of thing. For the most part, I'm, I'm kind of more the back end of Performance Boat Center. I'm more of a business guy, I guess you call me, and, and focus on how we make 
Performance Bow Center grow and where it goes from here. Mark is always thinking big picture, who we can do business with in the future, what obstacles am I going to have in two or three years, how are we going to grow it, what do we need to be doing in the future, that kind of thing. As our attention is different during the day, we both are focused on making sure that everybody here has a job and we keep on rolling, keep on growing. It gets a little overwhelming because I walk around and a lot of our staff has been here for a lot of years. They've got kids, they've got families, they've bought houses and it's like we've got to make this work for everybody to be able to complete their lives. So it gets a little overwhelming but then um, we've got the awesomest team that you could ever assemble. So. No, 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 I'm talking about cutting this down now. My favorite part of the job would be two things. It would be diagnosing a problem with a boat that has either been there for a while or uh, is hard to find and then you can find it and that customer just either falls in love with this boat or just the stress is off of him. Pretty much anything the customer needs we can help them with, right? So whether it's fiberglass, whether it's paint, whether it's rigging, whether it's new setup, whether it's complete setup from scratch, the whole boat, we've done those uh, many times too. And there's times where we've been stumped and we've had to go to other people and try to figure things out. I love that part of it where, where the guys see a challenge of having to fix something and then they solve that for that customer and the customer's got a big grin on their face and they go take their boat out and it works great and they're happy about that. One of my favorite things to do at work is set up a boat to where the customer feels like he has a new boat even though he's had this boat for a while. This place has really grown every year. We don't slow down. It just gets busier and busier. It's been cool to be a part of that. Um, you know, they used to be able to take winters off you know, basically and relax and not have deadlines. In the last couple of years, we've been year round, nonstop. I love that we work all day here and then we're out on the weekends spending time together. It creates a community and environment that people lo love to come to and enjoy coming to work and have a good time working, which is really important when you're working seven days a week during the summer. We're like a family, all of us employees that work here, you know, uh, we work together, we hang out together, so we get off work, that's what we like to do, go out and enjoy the lake. Just, just like an NFL team win the Super Bowl, the team is everything. It's one of my proudest accomplishments is walking around this place and seeing the awesome talent of people that show up here every day. We want people to trust us, dropping off their extremely expensive toys. And there's a lot of guys here that have money in accounts that, that just sits until they want service and they want to be ahead of the line. So I got their trucks, I got their hot rods, I got their boats, and I got, I got you know, their funds. So they have to trust us. That's the biggest thing. What can you say about the, the support Mark and Brett provide to you and the staff here? Oh, it's pretty much endless, you know. It's just they, they want uh, everybody to do good, everybody to do uh, uh, thrive and obviously they want to thrive too and it's just endless amount of support whatever you need even uh, you know off the scene and, and with your family or anything they're always here to help and it's been great guys to work with. There's never a dull moment um, and uh, if you spend 10 seconds around Mark Waddington you know that there's there's it's always changed something's gonna happen something's gonna be new we're gonna be doing something different so the fact that I don't come in and do the same thing twice in any day is very exciting. I have more respect for Brett Maneer than anybody else in the industry. I don't know anybody that knows more about performance boating than him. I've never met anybody that knows more. I trust him that he'll make the right decision for the customer. And, and he really does. And I love that. Mm -hmm.